Hey everybody, this is Vandal 6 Actual and we're back with another shelter in place. Uh, so, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the premise of this, because uh, we've only done one up to this point, so basically what, we, what we're what we doing here is this is a Candace POI stand up to a horde. But, the catch here is that this is on day one, and we have to shelter in whatever structure we find first, whether that is a massive building, or the gallows or whatever that may be if it's a well we have to find some way to turn that into a horde base and see how long we can survive with that i've gone ahead and cranked up the enemy count for the horde from we started at 12 and then i think or eight and then we bumped up to 16 in the middle of the last one just because there was nothing happening we had three enemies i bumped that up to 32 in this one um so same rules apply here um I have set the time to 8 o'clock after completing all of the, the initial challenges because that's not really any part of this. And I just want to give ourselves a consistent amount of time throughout each day. So we set the clock to 8 o'clock. And um, the only things that I've given myself, yes, cheat mode is on in this. It's obviously I can set the time. The only things that I'm giving myself in this are a pistol, 50 rounds of ammo, <clears throat> excuse me, a padded hood, level one padded hood, the pistol's a level one as well, and uh, that padded hood has a helmet light mod. That is more so so that you can see rather than for me to see, um, because this would be pretty boring fighting a horde and you can't see what's going on and I die really quickly. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I haven't looted anything. All I've done was knock down one tree at this point. Um, so I do see what looks like grass down here. I don't want to be in the cold. So I have two missions here. The first mission is to get out of the cold because I hate this biome. Um, I don't want to have to deal with lumberjacks on top of everything else. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're going to try and get out of here. Hopefully we don't see any structure. Hey, there's a lumberjack. We're just going to keep right on walking. I'm not going to mess with him. This is not about the combat right now. And we've got something right over here, right on the edge of the cold biome. And that is our first structure. Whatever that is over there, that's where we're going to take shelter and set up our base. So we may end up having to deal with a couple of these lumberjacks. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get over there, check out the structure first. And that doesn't really mean anything to me today. Uh, we're going to get over there and check it out and just see what we've got. And then we're going to go ahead and figure out what our base is going to be like and see if there's any other structures around that we can go ahead and loot. Um, because there may be some stuff of value that we can pick up that's going to help us with the Horde Knight. Uh, right now, I don't care about anything that doesn't do anything for us for the Horde Knight. Um, so... Oh crap, we got a mountain lion too. So hopefully he didn't see us. Let's make sure that the pistol is loaded, just in case. Because this is going to be a very, very boring episode otherwise. Where did that mountain lion go? And there's... Oh, we're off to a great start today, aren't we? Alright, we're going to need as many stones and arrows as we can get. I'll drop the egg later, because we're not going to... Not worried about cooking. This is a one day thing. So that was, you know what? We can't use that one. So I think we have to go back to the water tower because what that ended up being was the trader. So there is a water tower and a gallows over here. Um, and we saw the water tower first. So I've never done a horde night in the winter biome. I don't know. If I'm going to have to deal with lumberjacks as part of that horde. I hope not. I really, truly hope not. And crap, there's the mountain lion and he is now going after that deer. So hopefully the mountain lion leaves us alone. And he is right there. All right, took out the Lumberjack. He did get a, a shot on us. We do have those four points to spend. So what I'm going to do, actually, before I go and loot that, or go over to that water tower, which we're going to have to turn into our base, I'm going to go ahead and come up here and loot this house. 
because I think we might be able to find some stuff up there and I hope that it'll reset things a little bit and clear out that, that cougar or mountain lion or whatever it is. I'd like for him to be gone when we come back over here. So hopefully he'll despawn after a little while and we can go ahead and get into this house which has a garage attached to it as well. I'm also, I'm happy that we happen to find the temper biome here. Um, because we can take this cotton, if I can get 20 of these, we can make a stack of 10 regular bandages, not healing bandages, but that way we can avoid using our first aid bandage too soon. Now, unlike the first time through this, I'm going to edit out most of the combat, most of the fighting, uh, leading up to the Horde Knight, because I don't care about that stuff. I really, truly don't care about it. Alright, that's going to give us 17 cloth fragments, we need three more. All right, let's get those turned into cloth. And then we can get into this place and loot it. And I think we're going to need a whole lot of wood. Because we don't have a whole lot of other resources available to us. And we need to be able to fortify that water tower enough to stand up to a horde. This may be as simple as just standing up on top of it and shooting down on them, but we'll have to see. Haha. -ha. Weapons bag. Oh, don't need the rad remover, but I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Got an AK. All right. We are going to take an unexpected trip over to that trader after I shoot this freaking bird. But one other thing that I didn't mention earlier is I do have the XP modifier turned up pretty significantly. I've got it turned up to 200%. That is not so that I can level up and get more perks and everything. Um, even though it does give me a few extra points. I mean, how many times are you going to level up in one day? Not really that many. I'm going to level up once so far. And by the time the horde shows up, we may have leveled up another time. It's not really going to do a whole lot to help us. It's more so to uh, advance the game stage as fast as we possibly can and get as big of a horde as we can get. So let's go ahead and get back over to the water tower, which we're supposed to turn into a base. Um, on the way over there, I think we'll find a rock to pound on. We'll find ourselves some trees to cut down and see what we can do here. Let's just start breaking stuff down here. Maybe we'll get an idea. All right, what is going to end up being saving grace for us here, I think, is that big metal pole in the middle. So what I need to do is, plates are just turning to iron. What I need to do, I think, is do everything I can to protect that center pole. So I'm gonna find ways to uh, build stuff here to do exactly that. Uh, I'm gonna find rocks that I can beat up and uh, we'll dig up some, some clay as well and we'll make some some cobble and I think that's what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just really fortify that whole area there see if we can build quickly build a platform up top that's a little bit bigger than what's there right now and we'll roll with that all right I'm back so what I've done is pretty simple at this point 
Uh, we're only, we're less than an hour away now, so I've got to go ahead and get this finished up. Um, what I'm actually hoping to do here is to bring them up on top of this, uh, this shed. Because if I can get them to come up here, then, let's see, we're going to have to put some frames here as well to kind of protect this area. I want them to get down into there. Basically what I'm trying to do here is to protect that, that center pole at all costs here. And if I'm giving them an avenue up here, so we leveled up, we leveled up one other time, I used that point just on um, healing factor, so that's going to bring my health back up here a little bit. Um, but now they shouldn't, they're not going to be able to get up to me on there, but this brings them a little closer to me to be able to shoot them more easily. All right, let's make 20 frames just to have them. And we're going to go ahead and put one here for the moment. And I'm going to break this out. Well, that wasn't good. So I guess we are crap. All right, so here's the plan. We're going to try and kill them from right here. I'm going to... Hopefully this doesn't... I don't want to break that out. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do either. So just fire down on them from up here. We have the AK as well. I wish I would have put the junk turret out there. The AK, we have 85 rounds. We ended up with 113 pistol rounds. So let's go ahead and reload our pistol. Here they come. They... Are they going to path up here? Looks like they're trying. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, I think they're just trying to beat it down right now. So... Let's see if we can hit Big Mama from here. Oh, she, she found it. She found it. Alright, so maybe she'll lead the others up there. Okay, we got another one coming now. And I set the horde size up to... Alright. If they're not going to show up, if we're not going to get a big horde again, I'm going to take a, a minute here. Alright. Still not happening. So, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna take a pause here and i'm gonna go ahead and jack up the xp see if that will bring a bunch more in here so i'm gonna give myself enough to level up for you know bring my game stage up a considerable amount so uh so i'll be back and uh, we'll see how that goes all right i've come back into the game now i've jacked myself up to level 19 i gave myself like three or four about 300,000 xp so now we've got a whole lot more coming so this is what i'd like to see this is a little bit more like it so let's see how well this stands up to things and uh i'm actually going to go ahead and let them beat on this for a little while and see what kind of damage they can do here and then we will We'll go ahead and kill them off if, if we can. I mean, we should be able to with the ammo that we've been able to collect here. But uh, this will be interesting to see if they... Uh, if our pathing here, the hope would be that they would continue to come up that ramp right there and work their way on top of the shed and start trying to bust through up here. Um, but in some cases, they're actually pounding on the, the steps that I built over there. So... Um, so they're they're not the brightest things in the world. They are zombies. I mean, they're 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 undead. They're brainless, and and uh, there's only so much you can expect from them. So, all right, let's see what we've got. I think we've got probably eight or nine of them down there right now. Um, but I had to actually increase the my XP, leave the game, and come back in. So let's go ahead and kill Jason. 
And I am going to actually... I'm going to bust this out right here. And I'm going to put in a hatch right here so that I can see down on them and go ahead and kill them. After, of course, I repair. Alright. So, yeah, they got plenty of them down there at the moment, and they're doing some damage. Um, they're really low-level enemies, but, uh, but it looks like we've got, you know, nine, ten of them down there, so... We go ahead and build a hatch so that we can go ahead and not fall down there by accident. Alright, let's do that. Get over to the hatch. There you go. Alright, so now we can go ahead and shoot down through here. And let's do some damage now. They're starting to take out the supports, but what I what I figure is that that big thick iron pipe in the middle here is ultimately going to be what is what supports this place. It's not the the wood, it's not the... Oh jeez, almost fell down. Uh, and I did set them to run, so if I fall down, you know, we'll feel it. And we got more coming, that's awesome. That's what I wanted to see. So, apparently we just have to jack it up to like level 18, 19, 20, and we'll get more than one wave of three. So this is good. This is really good. Uh, they're still coming too. So I think this this is interesting because out here in the winter biome, there's actually still lumberjacks too. Uh, so normally you don't just see the the regular zombies wandering around during a horde. I don't believe they normally spawn in, but out here in the winter biome, the zombies or the uh, the uh, yeah the lumberjacks are continuing to spawn. So that's kind of interesting. Alright, take out our nurse friend. Get back up. Stay down, I'll take care of it for you. Alright, that hatch is actually starting to get in the way of it. Ooh, we did a number on Roger. Did we take off both of his legs? I think we did. If I'd have had more time, I would have wanted to extend out this platform a little bit out here. Maybe put some bars on the outside if I could. Uh, but that just didn't end up happening. And actually, I should have just put some bars in there instead of that. Alright. And they are still coming. We've got some more coming off in the distance, so this is good. This is, this is what I wanted. This is the kind of fun I wanted to have with this. So the question then becomes, when do I raise the XP? Do I do it right before the horde gets here? Or just give myself 300 XP? Or 300,000 XP, rather? Right at that point, just before they get here? Or do I do that at the beginning of the day? Uh, if I do it at the beginning of the day, then we have a lot of excess uh, skill points to spend. So that might be a little... that might kind of be cheating. We're not trying to improve me. Like, I haven't spent any of this extra skill points that I got for this. The only ones that I've spent were the ones that I got from the initial quest and from leveling up through actual, uh, just collect- gathering skill. I wish I'd gotten a shotgun somewhere, because I picked up nine shells here. Um, and I also wish that I'd remembered to put- <laughs> The, the junk turret down, but I don't really, I've only got 14, uh, 14 iron, so, uh, I didn't find a wrench, wasn't able to take anything apart, ooh, haha, <laughs> score, dropped her down right, right in that little gap, alright, so, Arlene, come on, you're the next contestant, on oh, price is right, and, still coming, so this could end up being a decent size word. Oh, crap! Crap, they brought it down. They brought it down. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. AK. They brought the whole thing down. Maybe we'll luck out and this will be kind of be the end of it.
Oh, I think we got lucky. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, now we just have to worry about the lumberjacks that are wandering around out here, which there are some. There are plenty out here, but oh, look at that. All oh, the water spilled out and everything. Oh, but it, I was right, though. It was actually, uh, I was right and wrong. There was not enough support on that tower for the, uh, for the, 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 the pole to hold the whole thing up. It wasn't enough to hold it together. And what happened was they broke out these legs and I was trying to build those up as flagstone. You can see I got these down here, but when they got up on top of here, they were able to take it out over here and uh, we needed to fortify those supports a little bit better than we did. So I was able to get these to flagstone, uh, or these are actually cobblestone or whatever they are, whatever they're called. Uh, but these were just regular flagstone blocks. They did take out one, two, at least so two. Looks like three of those blocks that I put in. They didn't take out any of the wood that I put up there. Um, they were beating on this thing pretty heavily, but... Uh, we had that one uh, instance where Marlene fell down through the hole right here, which is, that was pretty entertaining. Um, so, yeah, just that centerpiece stayed up. So I was right that that would be the strongest point. The problem was that everything around that just didn't have enough support to keep it up. So that ended up being the uh, the downfall of the space design. Um, I think if we could have had a little bit more time and maybe spent some time gathering cobble and or gathering some more stone and clay if we would have had that time we didn't that was the unfortunate part and maybe that trip to the trader wasn't the best thing that we could have done in this situation um, because we only ended up selling uh, some junk and getting 22 rounds for the pistol we ended up with only seven rounds left for the pistol and in the ak only ended up with 37 rounds left and i think we started like 100 or 87 or something like that uh in the in the ak so um i don't know it's it's kind of a six of one half dozen of the other could if the, if the whole thing had stayed up maybe we would have been able to fight them off with just with just the bow and arrow uh, once we ran out of, of the other ammo and we also had some dynamites that we could have thrown down but that probably would have brought the whole place down too um, so really we would have been relying on just what we had left in the AK the pistol and uh, the bow and arrow if I had um, in, in actually we would have run out already on the pistol if I had not gone to the trader um, so it could have made a difference. Uh, we ended up, so what, 15 extra rounds that we shot out of the pistol, uh, that we wouldn't have had. Um, so it could have made a difference, but we have 37 left in the AK. So we probably would have been able to just survive on that. If I had just gone and fortified the top of that tower, uh, and turned it to cobble or something up there, as opposed to just some, some loose pieces of wood that were, were stuck up there. Um. We went for a ride, we fell down. Fortunately, we were at the end of the horde when that happened. But uh, yeah, this one's gonna be a tough one to get a, a decent um, a decent uh, uh, um, thumbnail for. Because <laughs> uh, that's all that's left of this thing. But, uh, but I'll figure that part out later. Uh, this, was, this was a fun one. This is the way that I was hoping that this would ultimately go. That, uh, that we'd actually have a challenge with this and um, that we wouldn't always be able to win. So that was the, the point of jacking up the, the, the level um, to get to a higher game stage so that we'd end up with some waves of enemies. And I think all together, let's see, how many did we end up killing? We ended up killing 40 zombies and maybe 10, 11 of those, maybe 12 were prior to the horde. So um, take 12 off of that, you still got 28. So that's a decent size horde for the first night when we're only giving ourselves 50 bullets. Um, so, uh, so yeah, this was, I, I think this was a resounding success, even though the base itself failed. Um, I think that we, uh, we, we did enough. We did just enough to survive the horde night. Um, 
on the first night. So this was really cool. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this one, um, but we're going to have to end it here because there's nothing left to do. We've already finished it off. So thank you so much for watching. Your support truly, truly does mean a lot to me. Um, I do love hearing from you. So drop a comment here and let me know how you like this idea. I'm going to continue it on into Alpha 19. Um, so we actually get to bridge that gap with this series. Um, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to know when the next video is available, hit that subscribe link and also hit the notification bell too uh, so that you know when the next video drops. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button and maybe share it with your friends. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. That's at Vandal6Actual. Uh, I can't wait to bring you more videos of Seven Days to Die and other games, but that'll have to wait for next time. Until then, this is Vandal 6 Actual, out.